Yo, welcome to This Week in Geek, where we talk about the latest geek news this week. I'm Alvin. And I'm Nick. First up, the X-Files trailer from Fox. It'll probably start on a Friday. What will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. Driven by a well-oiled, well-armed, and multinational group of elites using alien technology that government's been hiding for 70 years. We have a small problem. Oh my god, pretty awesome, man. If you'd like to check the rest of the X-Files trailer, check out the link in our show notes below. I got yeah, chills, man. I got chills. I am happy that Dana Scully and Fox Muller are back. Yeah. So what we can get from the X-Files trailer is that the new series is set 13 years after the original series run. And Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny reprise their roles as FBI agents Dana Scully and Fox Muller. And this event series consists of six episodes There will be a mixture of standalone episodes and ones that further the mythology of the original series. So in the first episode, we see that Mulder and Scully are investigating a possible alien abductee. The original creator, Chris Carter, wrote and directed three of the episodes, while series veterans Glenn Morgan, Darren Morgan, and James Wong wrote and directed the remaining three. Wow. I think Chris Carter just mindfucked us, man. That was so intense, that trailer. I mean, that's everything that we're afraid of in 2015. Yeah, I like that they retained the original series feel. Yeah. That conspiracy theory, you know... And made it relevant. Yeah, the fact that our governments are looking at this, Big Brother's watching... And uh, yeah, America going to war because of fake reasons and shit like that. That's yeah. They did it during the Dubia era. Now, yeah, X-Files is acknowledging it. Badass. So here's hoping it really gives the original series a run for its money. Yeah, I'm kind of sad it's only six episodes. But seeing how bloated X-Files ended up being, I'm kind of happy that it's also a self-contained six-episode event series yeah. that will hopefully have a satisfying ending. X-Files debuts on Fox in January 2016. Next up, Into the Badlands trailer by AMC. Sonny, you can't outrun who you are. So if you'd like to check the rest of the Into the Badlands awesome trailer, check out the link in our show notes below. Oh my god. Is this like the same studio that came out with Breaking Bad and Mad Men? Yeah, it looks like they learned a lot and... This is like shit bonkers crazy. I would expect this from HBO, but not AMC. Yeah, it looks amazing, it looks amazing. So, the series is loosely based on the 16th century Chinese novel, Journey to the West. It follows a warrior named Sunny as he travels through dangerous territory known as the Badlands. Badlands are ruled by violent feudal barons, and Sunny seeks to escape the Badlands and his own past when fate throws MK <coughs> into the mix. So, Sunny is director, actor, martial artist Daniel Wu, and in the series, he is the regent or the hip clipper to the top baron in the Badlands named Baron Quinn. Clipper. Clipper. <laughs> so, he's taken in as a child, and Sunny has no memory of his parents or where he came from. And this solitary warrior has killed hundreds, and each death is marked with a tattoo on his back. Yeah. And Sunny sometimes dreams of a different life, and has feelings for a lady named Veal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I gotta say, man, the tattoos look badass. He has that, like, Jedi coat, as yeah. you can see in the full trailer. It's like, no, I can't, I can't have a family. I'm a killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next up we see MK, that little teenager that he rescued from a box. So, and MK is played by Aramis Knight. And MK is a teenager with powerful dark forces inside him. And only apparent if his skin is cut. And in the series, Sunny aims to help MK harness his gifts. So here we have um, maybe kind of like a Hulk. Yeah, Hulk wannabe. you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> uh, cut me up and you're dead, bro. <laughs> and next up we have the widow played by Emily Beecham and he she is the Badlands newest Baron or Baroness I guess and martial arts master a deadly widow succeeded her husband after his not so mysterious murder most likely by her hand <laughs> yeah and she aims to eliminate the top dog in the Badlands Quinn 
Uh, talking about the top dog, here is Baron Quinn, played by Martin Sokas. Yeah, he also eliminated a previous senior Baron. It seems like a pretty rough world. A world where the only way to succeed is to kill your competitor. Or kill your senior. Or kill your senior. I, I like how, despite being based on like that classic 16th century novel, Journey to the West, it's just fucking bonkers, man. Yeah, I, I love the post-apocalyptic feel. I actually love every scene in the trailer. It just that's evokes like so, so much. so many influences. It feels like you're in the deep south, yeah. where there's like plantations and slavery. And yet there's, and hints of, uh, and... there's hints of steampunk. There's hints of the prohibition era. And you've got kung fu mixed in. you got sword fighting. It's yeah, just man. like, it, it seems like a roja. It it looks good. It looks good, man. Looks so good. Really can't wait for this. I really can't wait for this. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so wondering, nice. like, if Sunny is supposed to be Sun Wukong or the Monkey God, then who's MK? Is MK the pig? Or is MK the goat or the dragon? Or is MK supposed to be the priest in the Journey to the West storyline? Or he could be the Monkey King? Nah, Sunny's the Monkey King, man. Sun well, Wukong, yo. You can always, like, twist it up a bit. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. So Into the Badlands debuts on AMC in November 2015. Next up, the Westworld teaser. Do you know where you are? I'm in a dream. That's right, Dolores. You want to wake up from this dream? Yes, I'm terrified. Then answer my question correctly. Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? If you'd like to check out the full teaser, check out our show notes below for the That link. was intense, man. Oh, yeah. Very intense. So, The Westworld. It's an adaptation of Michael Critchen's original science fiction western thriller Westworld, which was a film made in 1973. It tells the story of a robot malfunction that created havoc and terror for unsuspecting vacationers at a futuristic adult theme amusement park. So here it is, Michael Critchen doing both Westworld and... Jurassic Park? Yeah. Hit, ten, yeah. Ten, ten. <laughs> the series comes from exec producers J.J. Abrams and Jonathan Nolan, who also co-wrote and directed the pilot. Wow. Okay, that is a st stellar writing crew. I, I didn't notice it until... Really. Yeah, I mean, Jonathan Nolan did uh, that awesome TV show. I can't remember what the TV show was I don't called. care, man. He did Inter Interstellar and Dark Knight. Man. That's it. I mean, he's been working with his brother Christopher Nolan for the past 10, 15 years, man. Yeah, and it's also J.J. Abrams as well, you know, who's had Lost. Lost, Elias, Felicity, the Mission Impossible series, the Star Trek series, the Star Wars series. So, yeah, this, this creative team is bonkers. But what makes Westworld stand out is a recent controversy that arose when more than 50 naked extras taking part in the filming were being well paid to touch one another's genitals. Up to $600, according to a source familiar with the shoot. And this is a contract they signed up willingly. <laughs> so, here is the controversial casting call notice. This document serves to inform you that this project will require you to be fully nude and or witness others fully nude and participate in graphic sexual situations. By accepting this project assignment, you may be required to do any of the following. Appear fully nude, wear a pubic hair patch, perform genital to gen genital touching, have your genitals painted, simulate oral sex with hand to genital touching, contort to form a table-like shape while being fully nude, pose on all fours while others who are fully nude ride on your back, ride on someone's back while you are both fully nude, and other assorted acts the project may require. The project will also include language and sexual situations that some may consider personally objectionable or uncomfortable. I find it very interesting that they hmm. decided to omit the other parts under other assorted acts that the project <laughs> may require. I'm just thinking, could this be HBO's next Game of Thrones? It could be the next Game of Thrones in the sense that you'd see like boobs in every single episode. Yeah, I mean, Game of Thrones got popular because they had so many sex positions. The one where characters were talking while fucking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, seeing from the trailer, I think we would expect even more of that. I got a really Matrix vibe from the trailer. Yeah. Uh, question of identity, question of reality. Uh, and yeah, like you said, Michael Christian wrote about Tim Park's Gone Wrong before uh, with Jurassic Park and shit that he did earlier with Westworld. So I look forward to this reboot. I mean, it has Anthony Hopkins, 
Even Rachel Wood, James yeah, yeah, yeah. Marsden, those are like fucking talented actors, man. Yeah, and, and the producer cast as well, I mean, it's... Yeah, you got fucking Abrams and Nolan. I think this is something to really look out for. If you are oh in the mood God. for something to fill your Game of Thrones needs while Game of Thrones is preparing for the next oh, season, yeah. I think this is it. I, I gotta say, 2016 is shaping up to be a fucking awesome year for TV, man. Oh yeah, really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to Westworld. Westworld debuts on HBO in early 2016. So, continuing with our Wild West extravaganza this week. This, this week's, week's school shit. shit. Gunslinger. Gunslinger is the ultimate tribute to the Old West. Uh, the third installment in Smash TV's epic VJ trilogy, it is a 62-minute behemoth that embodies the spirit and chaos of the Wild West. Painstakingly assembled from more than 50 Western movies, ranging from Sergio Leone's early spaghetti westerns all the way up to the 90s reimagining such as Desperado and Wild Wild West, Gunslinger serves as a humble attempt to pay homage to one of the longest-running and most influential genres of the silver screen. Wow. Yeah, I mean, just listening to Ennio Morricone's soundtrack, it's so classic, man. It, it brings back memories, man. It's 62 minutes of bliss. If you'd like to check out the full video, check it out and check out the link in our show notes below. Yeah, uh, we've got the links to all the full trailers uh, in today's show. So definitely check out our show notes, guys. These shows are going to blow your minds, man. Yeah, really looking forward to 2016. Oh, yeah. All right. That'd be awesome. That's a wrap. So that's it for this week in Geek. Stay tuned to our next episode every Friday. What do you think of this week's episode? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, if you like us, subscribe and share our videos. This is Alvin. And I'm Nick. May the force be with you. <laughs> I like that, I like that. <laughs>